How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Pilot Patriot channel. Today we are looking at the Streamlight ProTac Rail Mount HLX. This is a thousand lumen rifle light. Let's check it out. Alright guys, in this video we are talking about the Streamlight ProTac Rail Mount HLX. This is a thousand lumen long gun light. And it's one of the most popular on the market right now for a lot of reasons. One is the incredible value that you get for your money with everything that comes with this light. If you look here, you'll see everything that comes with it. You're not only going to get the light, you're also going to get your Picatinny mount, your pressure pad switch, tail cap, a way to mount that pressure pad with a couple different sizes of zip ties to go along with that and an adhesive mounting pad. And you're getting all of that for right around 120 bucks. Now just as a comparison, if you were going to look at a similar Surefire light, you're gonna to have to buy all these things separately. You're gonna to have to get the light, the tail cap is separate, the pressure pad is separate, your mount is separate, and by the time you've done all that, you've spent about $400 for a very comparable light to what you're getting here from Streamlight. The only other light that I know that's even gonna come close to that kind of value is one that I've already reviewed, and that's gonna be the Olight Odin. Now, I know a lot of people give Olight a hard time, but I actually really like this light. You're gonna get around the same lumen count, and you're gonna get a lot of the same type of accessories that come with this light. You don't have to buy them separate. And I have done a review on that, so make sure you check that out. But the reason we're looking at the Streamlight today is because I'm thinking that this Streamlight may be a replacement for that Olight. With Streamlight, you're sure to get a good quality light from a reputable name brand. And there are a lot of great features about this light that we're going to talk about in just a second. But if you haven't done it yet, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. So looking at some of the specs of the Streamlight ProTac Rail Mount HLX, again, this is a 1000 lumen light, so it is gonna be very bright. The length of this light is gonna come in right at 5.43 inches. The weight is gonna come in at 6.4 ounces, which is not bad at all. Now this light does have three settings. You're gonna get a high, a low, and a strobe, and it is programmable. You can program it to give you a high on one click and then a strobe on a double click. You can program it to high only, and then you can program it to a low and then transition to a high. So talking about those lumen counts real quick, on the high, you are gonna get 1,000 lumens for about an hour and a half, and that 1,000 lumens comes out to about 27,600 candela. So it's a very bright light. It's throwing a lot of light downrange to illuminate whatever you're trying to light up. On the low setting, you're going to get 60 lumens for around 20 hours at 1,600 candela. And then on the strobe, you're going to get about two and a half hours of runtime. This light does operate off of a rechargeable B26 battery. And you can see here, you do have to take the battery out to charge that. Your charging cable is going to plug right into the battery itself. Now, aside from the obvious benefits of being able to recharge your battery, you are going to get slightly higher lumen counts and longer run times out of the rechargeable battery. But you can also run this light off of two CR123 batteries. So Streamlight calls this their dual fuel light because you can run it off of both battery sources, the rechargeable battery as well as the two CR123 batteries. So I love to have options. I think that is a great feature of this light. They advertise a beam distance of 332 meters, so it is gonna have a nice long throw to really project that light down range. Now we are gonna get out on the range here in just a little bit and test this out and show you just how bright it is at different distances. Now looking over here at the pressure pad, I do like the pressure pad that they send along with this. You're gonna get a large momentary pad here as well as a constant on and off button here on the top. Now the mounting option for the pressure pad is just these two little clips that clip onto your Picatinny rail. And then the pressure pad is just gonna slide into there like that. As you can see, it does have these little recessed 
areas here and that's for you to use these zip ties to really secure that down but like I said they do also offer this adhesive strip that's going to fit right here on the back and so you can use that as well to really secure that in place that is one thing even though some people like to hate on the Olight I did think Olight provided a really nice solution for the pressure pad switch it's a larger mounting surface that clips down on that Picatinny rail and the pressure pad slides in now of course this pressure pad is only one switch you don't have the two switch option that you see in the stream light this light is going to have a very durable anodized aluminum construction and an impact resistant lens now looking over here at the lens you can see it's a nice large bezel here with a smooth style reflector and one large led in the middle back here on the tail cap you'll see that it does have these raised portions here on the body of the light to protect that tail cap from accidentally getting bumped and turned on and this light is going to have an ipx7 water resistance rating with the standard cap and an ipx4 rating with the pressure pad cap and that is going to be more than enough to protect this light from rain or a drop in a mud puddle or something like that looking down here at the provided mount this is an integrated picatinny rail mount has a nice large adjustment knob here while very robust if you did want to switch this out for a different style mount you can do that it has two screws here to take this off and there are other mounts on the market that you can use now I would have also liked to see this come with an M-Lock style mount as well or at least one other option but it is nice that you can take this off and switch it out for an aftermarket mount if you want to. Now that is another area that I thought Olight did very well is with the mount that they provide with that Odin light. It is a very cool 45 degree mount that mounts on M-Lock rails. And it has this nifty feature where you hit the button here and it just unlocks and that light comes right off easy on easy off so like i said i do like the olight and it has a lot of really nice features for the money but i do think overall the construction and the quality of the stream light itself may be just a little bit better so we're going to try this out for a little while and see which one we like best now let's get this bad boy mounted see what it looks like and then we will take it out to the range and really test this thing out to see just how bright it is all right guys so here's a look at it mounted on what i actually ended up doing was mounting a little picatinny rail section here onto my m log and then just attaching the light from there got it mounted as far forward as possible and i actually don't mind this pressure pad mounting solution after all uh, it does have a pretty cool feature it's actually got a little cavity in there that's designed for uh, helping you manage those cables so i thought that was pretty cool just kind of playing around with the setup here i'm not sure if i want this constant on button at the back or the front but uh, since this is a short barrel my hand rides pretty far up here and i don't want it rested on that button all the time so um, i really don't see an issue coming back reaching back and hitting that if i wanted a constant on uh, it does have these screw holes and it came with two small screws I'm not sure what the point of that is because I'm definitely not going to screw it down into the rail so maybe somebody can tell me what are these little screws for that came with the streamlight beats me it does stick out a pretty good ways from the handguard here but I don't see that being too big of an issue so this is the setup as we have it right now let's get this bad boy out to the range and we will take a look at just how bright this Streamlight ProTech rail mount is. All right guys, here's our test of the Streamlight ProTech HLX. You can see there's still a little bit of light on the horizon there, but that sun is almost down and you can see pretty much nothing in front of us. And here's that Streamlight. As you can see, this is just a huge wide beam that burn back there is 50 yards away and it's about 65 foot wide. So you can see that the flood of our light is just a little bit wider than the burn. So you can expect about a 65 foot flood at 50 yards. And you can see it lights that berm up 
really well in those trees behind it. This closest barrel right here in front of us is about 10 yards away. And as you can see, it lights that up no problem. The second barrel there is 25 yards away. And then, like I said, that last one back there is 50 yards away. So you're going to have no problem at all lighting somebody up at 50 yards away. Now let's go ahead and back up and see what this looks like at 100 yards. All right, guys, we are about 100 yards away from the berm now. And as you can see, it lights it up no problem at all. This is a very, very bright light. It is throwing a lot of light downrange. All right, guys, that is it for the Streamlight ProTac HLX. Let me know what you guys think. I got to say, guys, for the money and for the value that you're getting with this light, I really don't think you can beat it in that price point. And it really competes well with a lot of higher cost lights out there on the market. Let me know what y'all think. How does this compare to the Surefire? How does it compare to the Olight? I think Streamlight has proven over the years to be a very good quality light manufacturer. And I don't think this HLX is going to be any different. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget, guys, we are going to have links to this light in the description below. So make sure you go check those out. If you want to help support the channel, guys, you can do that by visiting pilotpatriotapparel.com for some patriotic and Second Amendment t-shirts, as well as using our links down in the description below to get some cool gear for yourself. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.